West Coast. It is two o'clock our time, but hey, I am so excited to be with you today. My name is Nikki Shore, and I'm a one-star chef with Bon Cook. I'm a, cons a cooking consultant, a consultant. I'm, I'm really everything with this company, and I am just so thrilled to be um, coming to you live from my kitchen. I decided to take over the Bon Cook page today, and so I'm gonna be making one of my favorite recipes it is a family Tuscan pizza bowl. So good. Um, so while everybody is logging on, I see some people joining us. Welcome friends. Um, I am just gonna pull up my live here so that I can maybe answer some questions and just say a couple of shout outs as I, as I cook with you guys. So just know um, that we will always go back. If we miss any of your questions, we'll go back and answer it for you. So please keep asking them. We love your feedback. We love hearing about how you're using your Bon Cook. So this is perfect. Hey, Leslie. Hey guys, I'm so, so thrilled. Oh, Patty, hey. Oh my gosh, I love this. We can just like be on here and just chatting the whole time, but you guys, let's get to our recipe. Again, this is the family Tuscan pizza bowl. I had to actually bust out my old catalog going back, I don't even know what this, this is probably like five years old and um, the recipe was in, it is in here, but it's also on our website. So we will get that um, kind of up on the front page for you. Just give us a little bit. We'll do that for you so you can be cooking with your family. Um, and we just know you are going to love this recipe. So um, today, a couple of things I'm using just to give you a guys a heads up. I'm gonna be using our grande mold um, from Bon Cook. Of course, everything I'm using right here is Bon Cook. We're using our grande mold. We're using our roll pot. We're using our perforated baking sheet. We're using our infamous pizza dough. You guys, I am so excited about this pizza. My number one favorite right here. And so I'm really, really thrilled again just to be cooking for you guys because as much as I love go doing these videos and you know doing these cooking demos, I end up with a lot of food left over. <laughs> so this food is gonna be for our dinner tonight. So I'm kind of thrilled about that. Um, anyways, let's see who's all on here. Oh, hello. Oh, I see lots of, hi, Stephanie, Brandy. Hey guys, Dana, love it. Hey, Jackie. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm gonna be doing this recipe for you. And um, I'm, like I said, I'm coming to you from Bakersfield, California. Just a quick little um, tip about, um, you know, where I'm from. I, it's mostly, I'm actually more like center of California, like lower Southern California. I'm two hours from everything. I'm just two hours from the beach, the mountains, LA area, four hours from San Diego. So I feel very fortunate to live where I live. We have a lot, a lot of, a lot of agriculture here. So I don't know if you guys love those little cuties, those little um, tangerine, mandarin oranges. Those are here. We also do a lot of pistachios and almonds. So we grow a lot of stuff here in the Central Valley. So again, one of the things I'm proud of to be where I'm at because I always have amazing produce. All right, guys, let's get to it. So what we're gonna do first is we are gonna grab our pizza dough. And so this pizza dough, I just made it a little bit ago and it's been rising in my stainless steel mixing bowl. Whoever has this bowl, I know you guys are gonna, you guys love it. It is amazing, I love the handle. So it has been rising, it has doubled in size, which is perfect, which is what we want. You can see that in there. And I am just gonna get this out of the bowl and I am going to, we're gonna do this part first before we jump into our veggies. So I'm using our roll pad. Hopefully you guys can see stuff here. My counter is kind of, you know, everywhere. Uh, but I got my amazing roll pad here. This is my nonstick rolling surface. So I'm not gonna to have to add any other flour to it. It is amazing. Did you guys know that the roll pad actually has an extra layer of silicone compared to like the bond mat. That's why the roll pat does not go in the oven, but it's still made to take a high heat. So if you're into breads or, um, you know, like candy making and that type of thing, especially candy making and like chocolate dipped strawberries or pretzels, the roll pat is gonna be your best friend. Okay, so we got our dough here. Now I am using the grande round mold. And this is the big guy. So I'm gonna probably use my entire pizza 
um, all my pizza dough here. Now, if you're using, you can definitely use the medium round mold or the large round mold, which is smaller than these. And you, if you do it that way, you wanna make sure you just cut your dough in half. Simple as that. So we're gonna set that aside real quick. I'm gonna grab my rolling pin. And we're just gonna roll this out. This is dough. It rolls beautifully. I'm so excited. This is so good. I love bread. You guys, our pizza dough is herb infused. And so it has amazing flavor. It's not like your ordinary pizza dough. I mean, I keep this stuff on stock in my kitchen because whenever it's like I'm running out of time, didn't get a chance to go to the store or something, I just can easily pull it out. I can make us some, some pizzas or some bread sticks if I know I'm having some friends over, you know, some really fun little knots, bread knots. So Again, you can get really creative with it. I just always love being prepared, right? Okay, so we're gonna roll this out. You guys, does this look familiar? This is our Beechwood rolling pin. If you're looking for a really great rolling pin that's nice and sturdy and hearty, you know, with not a lot to it, our rolling pin is amazing. And I love, actually, when I watch cooking channels, cooking shows, like the Great British Bake Off, that's my jam, they're always using a rolling pin like this. And there's not a lot to it, and that is perfect, because that means there's not a lot of spot where bacteria can collect or any of that stuff. So it's really simple. So rolling it out, I'm rolling it out big. Can you guys see I'm really putting my back into it? <laughs> I'm getting my workout in, you know? There you go. Oh my goodness. Yes, Dana, it is really, really good. And today we're gonna be using some of our herb blend. So if you're watching, you're new to Bon Cook, maybe you saw somebody share this video and you're like, what's going on? We have so much to offer you. So I would just suggest you can um, touch base with a consultant in your area. If you don't have a consultant, check out Bon Cook's Facebook page, check out our Instagram page and our website because we have not only do we have great products we have great food items so we are going to be using our um, roasted garlic and chive herb blend so i'll be talking about that in just a few minutes okay so i got this dough rolled out as you guys can see not a perfect circle but that's okay so i am going to take our i got my perforated baking sheet but i'm actually going to cook ooh, on this side of my grande round mold Okay, so this part, <clears throat> you know, instead of trying to lift it up, I'm gonna try to do it very gracefully for, gracefully for you guys, of course. I'm gonna actually flip this over. Let me just um, make some room here. Because I am trying to do it where I lift the dough and I'm just not very coordinated. So I'm gonna try to do it this way where I'm setting my grande mold right on top and I'm actually gonna go like this, and I want it like that. And that way I can um, maneuver it a little bit easier. There we go. Oh yeah, that was probably a lot better than if I would have tried to lift it. You can try to lift it. Like I said, I'm not very coordinated, so I probably would have just been like, you know. Um, now, this dough is heavy, so you gotta kinda wanna watch out for it. And we are just gonna make um, a little bowl here. Oh yeah, this dough is like, you know what? It's actually really hot here, so this dough is like extra right now. It is getting really heavy, but that's okay. I might try to roll this out for another little bit, just to make it thinner, if that's okay. Can I do that, guys? This is, a, this is live, right? This is, you know, the TV shows, they make it look so easy, and they're like, oh man, it comes out perfect. Well, that's because they got a team to help them. <laughs> right now, it's just me. So I'm gonna roll this out a little bit thinner because I do feel like it is a little bit heavy for my grande mold, and it's kind of was um, pushing it down. So I'm just gonna roll this out a little bit thinner. Hey, I'm excited because I'm gonna have some dough left over, and I'm gonna make some pizza sticks and some bread knots for me. So I'm excited about that. So this dough does go a long way. I could probably even cut this in half, but like I said, I'm just gonna make it lighter here. This is what it's all about, improv, right guys? <laughs> hey, this is a real kitchen. I'm a real cook, I promise. <laughs> they didn't just hire somebody. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm getting loopy. Welcome to my kitchen, that's what I just do. I get loopy, um, but no, but seriously, did anybody else start school today with their kids? Um, my kids started school today, super fun. They're here at home, so it was a, it was a crazy day, but I was really looking forward to coming to you live. Okay, so this is probably good. I'm just gonna kinda try to 
angle this out a little bit more, I think that's gonna be thin enough and not way down like the blonde round. Okay, so same thing. We'll do it just like this, and then I can straighten it out for you. Don't wanna lose our rolling pin. Okay, you guys still with me? Everybody's still good? <gasps> Stephanie, your oldest doesn't love pizza? How can that be? <laughs> Maybe it's the sauce. I kind of find that sometimes the sauce gets people, but this, uh, this pizza is actually, doesn't have a sauce. It's loaded with veggies. Okay, so let me, I got it, whoop, got it here for you guys. I'm gonna cut this off real quick. I'm using this little scraper, and I'm telling you, if you guys have a scraper in your kitchen and you're not using it enough, you need to grab it and use it more. It is awesome. I'm like always using it, I, I um, lift up some veggies or if I'm chopping some nuts or something, okay. All right guys, so you can see how I put it on top of my grande mold. And my grande mold is being a little bit finicky with me. I'm not very happy with him right now, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, I think that'll be good. I don't know what's going on. There we go, it's all good. Okay, so at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put it in an oven. It's at 425. And let me just make sure I am make, doing the right thing with all of my recipes. We're gonna, um, put a little bit of an olive oil on top, um, and that will just help it um, get a nice, beautiful golden color. And I'm actually doing our garlic olive oil, but you can do a basil, would be ama amazing on here. We have a sweet basil olive oil, or if you wanna do a rosemary, Tuscan um, herbed olive oil, which is actually on special this month. So um, you should, I should have grabbed that one, right? Sorry. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm out of it. Okay, so now that that is basted with a little bit of oil, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven, and then we'll work on our veggies. My pizza might look a little wonky when we're done, but it's all good. <laughs> hey, my family, we're not picky. All right, guys, so I love seeing you on here. Hello, Rachel and Carrie. Love it, thanks for joining me in my kitchen. I miss all my friends. I would've already seen them by now, but with COVID, we're all in our own home, so. Okay, guys, so we got our pizza in the oven. We're gonna set a timer now for, excuse me, about um, five, to, probably like seven to 10 minutes. And of course, why is my timer like the one thing that I always, I always forget? But we're gonna put it right here on my apron. That's what I love about it. It won't go anywhere now. It's right there. Okay, so let's work on our veggies. You guys, listen to the list of this veggies, of these veggies. We have asparagus, we have bell pepper, we have red and golden um, bell pepper. I have fresh basil, did I say spinach? I think I said spinach, right? Um, I have green onions, I have a vine tomato. Oh my gosh, so good. So I already have some chopped up, but I wanted to really show you just a really quick way to be able to chop your veggies. Now, if you've been around for at Bangkok for a little bit, um, I might set this right here. You may own our beloved Eco Chop. You guys, our Eco Chop is amazing. I am not using it today only because I didn't want to make people sad because it's not available at this time. But please put it on your wish list because you guys are going to want to. Um, but I really wanted to highlight the Santuku Chef Knife because you know, really, I'll say that some of the experts, they say you just need about four different knives in your kitchens. So you don't need a whole bunch. And the Santuku Chef Knife is one of them. And our knife is amazing. It's sharp. It is um, a 100% hand forged knife. So really, really great knife. So I'm gonna chop up just a few of my veggies that I have here left. And I'm gonna do some of my bell pepper first. And I'm just gripping. You wanna make sure to hold your knife correctly. So I'm pinching my knife so none of my fingers are exposed and making sure, there we go, I had to get over the hump there. Making sure my blade does not come close to my fingertips. Turning it around. Now I'm just gonna um, dice these up. There we are. There we 
for you again. Now, what's really cool with about this recipe, it does call for just chopped bell peppers. You can chop these whichever way you want. If you love a bell pepper that is, you know, a, a bigger kind of chunk of bell pepper, go for it. We're gonna do, um, you know, you can do an orange, yellow, red, green. You can kind of change it up. But I love the mild flavor of like a yellow or gold bell pepper or, or like orange bell pepper. They have a really nice mild taste. And then you pair it with the red bell pepper, which is also amazing. It's like an extra zing. So we are a bell pepper family here. <laughs> we love bell peppers. And so I keep them in stock. So when I was asked to do this recipe, I'm like, oh, well, I already got the bell pepper. So... It's all good. I love to eat bell peppers with hummus, um, so even sometimes guacamole. Oh yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so you notice guys, our Santuku chef knife is just nicely cutting into these vegetables. I'm telling you, if you don't have a really good knife in your kitchen, take a look at our Santuku chef knife. It will make a difference. If you're in the kitchen a lot like I am, when you having nice quality tools in your kitchen makes all the difference. Okay, so um, I'm pretty good on bell peppers there. <clears throat> Let me just add a little bit more right here. I got some red left. My daughter will appreciate that. How is everybody? Are we, are we trucking along? Oh, yes, Teresa. We know. Best knife, right, girl? Absolutely. I actually have two of them. <laughs> I do. I do. And the funny thing is I took one camping with me um, a few months back. And, you know, we're using it. It's in the, it was in my parents' trailer, and they are using it. And my dad was like, why don't I have one of these? I'm like, I don't know, dad, why don't you have one? So that was his Father's Day gift was one of these knives, so. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna chop up some asparagus. Now, I don't know about you guys, I love like a thicker asparagus, but unfortunately this is all they had at the store. So I would, per personally, I would opt for a, a thicker asparagus, but it's actually kind of nice that um, these are smaller in this case. I just added a little bit extra. We got our asparagus in there. We have our vine tomato in there. We have our chopped up basil. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love basil. Love it, love it. Um, we have also in here was our green onions and then we have our spinach. So it says about a cup, but I'm loading up on the spinach because I love just all of the neutral, uh, uh, the nutrients that we get from base, uh, from spinach, so I'm always adding more. Okay, so we got our veggies in there. Let me just move some stuff out of our way. And grab this. So if you guys have never been to Bakersfield, let me just tell you some of the things that you can enjoy when you're in my neck of the woods. So here's the thing about Bakersfield, some people, have only driven through Bakersfield on their way to, um, you know, Northern California or to Las Vegas or down on the way to San Diego. But if you ever get a chance to stop in Bakersfield, you have to go to the two places. You have to go to Dwarves Candies and Chews, an ice cream parlor, so good. They've been making ice cream in this city for oh, like a hundred years, maybe over a hundred years, and it's um, it's all handmade from the same place that it was in the beginning. So it's really neat. But so they have these also amazing like chews that are really good so if you some of my friends on there you may get some for Christmas um, and um, also we're Buck Owens the country uh, music star he created he kind of put Bakersfield on the map so there's a really cool um, country place like museum and stuff like really neat like nostalgic stuff in there so there's a couple really neat things to Bakersfield that I just love okay guys so enough about Bakersfield let's get back to the food right Okay, we got our veggies in here. Let's toss it with a little bit of an olive oil, okay? We are um, gonna use, this time, our sweet basil olive oil. And all you're gonna need is a little drizzle, maybe just about a tablespoon. I would start with a tablespoon first. And you know what, I'm so sorry, I forgot a little spatula, there we go. There it is. We're gonna toss all those veggies in that amazing sweet basil olive oil. It's gonna lift that basil, um, flavor up to the top. You want to make sure they are fully coated because they're going to go back in the oven with the pizza. So that is going to be key. Okay. Now let me show you what all this looks like because it is beautiful color. I love all of this amazing color. Look at that. We got yellow, red, beautiful greens in there. This is how we should be eating, right? With fresh, 
whole ingredients. I absolutely love it. I lost my lid, there we go. Okay, so um, okay, so we got our olive oil in here. So now we're gonna add a little bit of our sea salt to the mix. There we go. So if you guys also have not tried any of um, French Pantry's sea salts, they are amazing. They're actually flake salt, so you don't need a whole lot. It goes a long way. I'm just gonna, I take it between my fingers and I kind of crush it. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me crushing it like that, but we're just gonna crush a little bit. Again, it goes a long way, you don't need me. You don't need, not need me, you don't need a whole lot. <clears throat> I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, so like I said, we got our veggies, we got our olive oil, we got a little bit of our sea salt. So let's check in on our pizza dough, see how that's doing. Hopefully it didn't deflate on me. <clears throat> oh, there we go, it has a nice little, can you guys see that? So I'm actually gonna pull it out and make some space here. On. Hello, Stacy. And Bon Cook loves our chews. Yes, we always send you guys some for Christmas. Cindy, our owner, already told me she has to make the girls take them because she will <laughs> overload on them. <laughs> yes, awesome. Okay, yes, let's go ahead and get out our pizza crust. See, this recipe actually doesn't take a lot of time. It may look like it because you have a lot of things to chop, but it's really quick. <clears throat> Oh, it smells amazing. So it got a little wonky, but that's okay. I have one good side right there. <laughs> Looks so good. My kitchen smells amazing. So what we're gonna do now is I am gonna transfer, um, I probably could have done this way better way, so I apologize for, this totally does not look professional at all. But I'm gonna move this onto my counter. Oh look, I was like right on time. There we go. Um, oh, I know what I do. Let me grab another baking sheet, guys. You know, I made sure. I went over this. I'm like, okay, do I have this? Do I have that? Do I have that? And sometimes you just miss something. Okay, so um, we have our um, another baking sheet, and then I'm actually going to be using our square bond mat, and this one pairs nicely with the grande around. So if you're looking, um, you know, to, if you're looking at some of this collection, take a look at this square one. This is a great lid for the grande round. And then I'm gonna do a little flip de do. Move this back onto here. That was hot. Who saw that coming? <laughs> I'm like, I wonder if my family had bets on like if I would burn myself. All right, we're just gonna go like this, and we're gonna flip it like that. It always scares my husband when I burn myself, and I'm like, babe, I do it all the time. I just, I just do. Okay, so let me um, show you guys what I just did. Can you guys see that? So I just put it on top of the square bond mat, and, well, this is kind of so hot, we're gonna take it off. So we have a bowl there. I mean, it's not a perfect bowl, but when you don't have a thousand people watching you, then you can do it probably a lot better. Um, but this is our pizza bowl. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in all of our amazing vegetables that have great flavor right now, amazing. Hi, Stacy. Oh, I love seeing one of some of my customers pop on here. It makes me so happy. Okay, so we're just gonna pour all of our vegetables in here. It smells so so good. And you may be thinking, wait, you don't have any sauce on this. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a balsamic, but you guys, this pizza has such great flavor. You won't need like pizza sauce or anything. Um, and that is kind of a good thing if you have people who are not like big pizza fans because they don't really like tomatoes um, You know, then this is a great option for them. You're gonna get a lot of veggies um, In here a lot of nutrients and everything. So that is really really good Okay, so let me show you guys what this looks like again. Beautiful 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 Look at that. I love it and you guys can totally do this if I can do something like this you can do it too all right, so um, now we're actually gonna, um, in our last and final steps, we are going to add a little bit of our roasted garlic and chive herb blend. This is one of my favorites. I kind of feel like I say that about every herb blend because they're so, so good. Um, but it is true, I use this one a lot. 
So we are just gonna sprinkle. I'm doing, I'm starting off with like half a tablespoon. I'm sorry, yeah, half a tablespoon. And so it kind of depends on how much you want to do. I would say no more than a full tablespoon would be good. Just to get it over all the way around. Looks perfect. Evenly coated. This is the French Pantry Roasted Garlic and Chive. If you want that, make sure you write it down, message your consultant, message the company, get yourself some because it is so good. Then we are going to drizzle a little bit of our uh, traditional balsamic. Love this guy. Let me grab my drizzle spoon. Love, love, love the <clears throat> um, this traditional balsamic. Can I, can I be totally transparent with you guys right now? I was not a huge, I did not like balsamics at first. And, you know, of course, when they brought this one out, I'm like, oh, of course, I'm going to try it. I trust the company. And I fell in love with it because it's like no other balsamic out there on the market. And the other consultants who were on here, you guys know how amazing this is. This balsamic is barrel aged 18 years. So when I say it's unlike other balsamics out there, it has a nice, rich, um, thick um, flavor. It's not super, super vinegary that you would you would think from a balsamic. It has great flavor. So again, get yourself some because you're gonna love it. Okay, so we have our balsamic here. Now let's add a little bit of cheese. I mean, pizza, you have to have some cheese, right? So we have me mozzarella here. Mozzarella, yum, yum, yum. And I'm just coating it. So it's gonna be about two cups of um, shredded mozzarella or more if you want more. <laughs> I'm always like, cheese, can you ever, like, do you ever need a certain amount? And you just need as much cheese as you want. That's what I say. All right, and then we're gonna add a little bit of some shredded um, Parmesan, just to give it a little bit of tang. Great, great flavor. Sprinkling. I'm not gonna do as much Parmesan as I do mozzarella. I'm just adding a nice little coating on top. And for the road, we gotta do another light drizzle of this balsamic on the top. Oh my gosh, so good. On the edges to get it in there, like I said, for the road. For good luck. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like before we put it in the oven. Um, basically, at this point, everything is cooked, so we're just gonna put it in the oven just until the cheese melts, maybe about five minutes, and we'll take it out. <laughs> yeah, the drizzle spoon is amazing. It, I know, Ginger, the, the ginger, the drizzle spoon will be back very soon, so you know, be in touch with your consultant and get yourself one. Okay, so look at that. Can you guys see a nice close-up? Love it. And I got cheese on my perforated bacon sheet, but it's all good. All right, so again, this is gonna go back in the oven uh, maybe about five or 10 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer for, I took it off somewhere. Does anybody know, there it is. I'm like, who, where did I put that? Okay, let's set it for five minutes. All right, let me see if I have any questions on here. Yes. Oh, you know what, Ginger, that is, that's a really good, um, good point. A lot of our herb blends would be amazing. You know, I think our rosemary, basil, and thyme would work great on this pizza. Our rosemary and basil and thyme has such great flavor. So does the roasted onion and red pepper. Um, and so it is, you can kind of have a lot of different variations based on your taste. You know, that's what I like about it. Okay. All right, let's see here. Okay, so while we have this cooking in the oven, I wish I had another one to show you guys in, in between this, what they call TV magic. Um, but let me just say, hey, right now we have an amazing food bundle, um, just good until the end of August. And you get our pizza mix. You also get a, a pastry, um, pastry brush that I use, I love this guy. And you also get the Tuscan herb oil. So that is a, the collection, so you, if you were like, hey, I gotta try this pizza, that's a good place to start. Uh, and you can contact your consultant about that, or like I said, the company, they can direct you to a consultant in your area. Um, but also on special, in case you guys have not seen, our specials are amazing because it's Bon Cook's birthday this month. We're turning three years old. And um, so, of course, we love to celebrate. That's one of the things we do at Bon Cook, right, girls? Is that we, and men, gentlemen, sorry about that, is that we love to celebrate 
all the things. And so we're celebrating this month, and so we have a lot of really fun stuff on special. One of our collections that we have on special is um, a really fun celebration special. It has a medium baking sheet. It has the mini bond tray and the macaron mat. So um, tech, we'll, we'll be posting some of those details or check with your consultant, but that is an amazing little collection. Our mini bond tray is so cute. You make little mini bond cakes. Um, so it is great for any celebration, especially now with you know COVID and you know everybody kind of want to just play it safe and have their own individual portions. That's a great way to do that. Also, part of our um, celebration is our collection, it's easy as one, two, three. And that is, this is the cutest little collection. You actually get our spiral bond mold, this little spiral bond mold, love this guy. And you get the small baking sheet, sheet and small bond mat. And so this fits perfectly on the small baking sheet, but then you add in the small bond mat, it means you can really do just about anything. You can um, take that small baking sheet, small bond mat, and you can throw it in a toaster oven. You can um, put it in your trailer. If you're a camper, you got a trailer or something, um, or for great for individual portions. So there's a lot of really cool stuff happening at Bond Club that Bond Cooks, so like I said, make sure that you're connected to our Instagram, that you're connected to um, our Facebook page. If you're just watching this because somebody shared it, make sure you like our Facebook page. Make sure you connect with your consultants. We've got virtual parties like this happening all the time, weekly, daily, we are doing this. Um, and it's a fun time to get together. And not only, um, you know, if you have some stuff on your wish list you wanna, you know, earn with your Bond Rewards, but just to connect with friends. I'm telling you, everybody is pleasantly surprised um, when we do virtual cooking parties and like that was really fun Nikki you know just to being able to have one time a, you know a, a selected time where we can come together even as virtually just to connect and, and chat over food so uh, connect with your consultant if you have been waiting to host one or you need to host one we got a lot of really cool stuff coming up and you guys what's happening at the end of this month is our national convention so we got new stuff coming for you so of course we will let you guys know as soon as we know what that is so make sure again that you're connected to bon Cook or your consultant so what I'm gonna do guys because I I want to be respectful of your time I have oh I have about one minute left. I'm gonna grab my pizza out. If it's not quite done, I'll just put it back in a little bit longer and we'll make sure to post pictures for you guys, but I want you guys to see it before we log off. So good, look at this. My cheese has already started melting. Doesn't that look beautiful, friends? I love it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait, can't wait. I might put it back in just for a few more minutes because my husband and I like ours a little bit crispy. So, um, but again, I wanted you guys to see it before we logged off here. And let me just set my quick timer. Okay, so, okay. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Again, if we miss, if I miss any of your questions, we'll go back and answer any of your questions about the recipe. The recipe right now is on our website. Um, it is under the recipes, under the main dishes. Um, if you aren't quite sure where to grab it, check in with your consultant and make sure you guys get their recipe. But I had a blast with you guys. Thank you so much for joining me as Bon Cook kind of um, hops along the United States, so travels across the United States. And I hope you guys stay safe and stay healthy and happy cooking. Bye guys.